Hi Pisces, welcome to my channel. This reading for today, Pisces, this is your uh, weekly collective tarot reading session for you, Pisces. I hope you are well. I hope you are fine and safe and doing good, Pisces. This reading for today, this is for you. Let us see what is happening towards you guys. What is the message that is meant for you to know and ready for you to know? This is for the sign of Pisces, okay? Before I start, I would like to thank you guys for coming back. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Yes, viewers, if you haven't clicked the bell, click the bell now and click subscribe. And if you would like, if you would like to further connect with me, all of the details is down in the description box below. To um, check out the products and the services that we offer, it's all in the website, okay? Let's see what's coming towards you, Pisces. What is the collective reading? What is the message for you in love, career, finance, and general situationship? Okay, all right. You have the Seven of Pentacles. You have the Empress card. And you've got the Hierophant card. You have the Six of Cups. You have the Nine of Cups. You have the Wheel of Fortune. And you have the Ten of Cups. Six of Pentacles. In the Ten of Swords. Your overall energy is the Knight of Swords. I feel like Pisces in the next two weeks, um, the Knight of Swords, there is something that you need to transform or to do um, as soon as possible. Okay? I feel a sense of um, predictive. It means that this Knight of Swords, it hasn't happened yet. So I want you to prepare yourself because there's something urgent. ASAP that you need to drop everything and pay attention with the Knight of Swords. Okay, this is a Gemini Libra Aquarius. I honestly feel like it. It's just it happened um, with a short period of time, but it is manageable. You just really have to action this situation as soon as possible. You have the resources, you have the wit, the intelligent, and with focus. I'm seeing you be able to manage the Knight of the Knight of um, the Knight of Swords. This is a rush, something that would rush you. Okay. Now let's pick up more intuitive message for you guys. You've got a Seven of Pentacles, the Empress, the Empress card, the Hierophant card. Um, I feel like there's something in here that um, there's something about your finances, your investment that you really. Um, waiting for things to grow okay you're wishing and hoping that the more you spend time the more you put effort the more it's going to grow the more it's going to expand you're also manifesting that things will you know grow expand things will develop things will progress and with the seven of pentacles in here and your commitment to this person situation or project there's no doubt that this person's situation or this focus this this focus of yours will eventually um you know reach a point of completion however what i'm getting in here is that you're looking into it you're checking this person's situation project more than usual and it might create it is it is or might create um stress or inconvenience from you Okay, because it's it's a feeling of you, you planted um, you planted a rose, you know, and every day you're looking into that plant if it's going to bear fruit or you're looking into it. You're it's if it's healing, you're touching the wound, so it, it wouldn't heal if you keep touching it. Like if it's it's a feeling as well that you you know they said that um, um, the kettle will not boil if you keep watching it but if you leave it eventually it will boil so the universe is kind of advising you six of cups enjoy whatever it is that you have right now things are a bit unsettled things are moving things are changing it is improving sometimes it's not uh whatever this is could be it could, it could be connected to family it could be connected to contract it could also be connected with your health or any type of any type of investment where you're really onto it the way you just put yourself onto it it's a bit too much you're you're checking 
you're checking this every day that it creates a pressure on you or the person or the situation that you're dealing with you know nine of cups the center of the reading it's kind of telling you relax relax this is in progress this you're in control of the situation if the situation if the person if the energy it's already running into a pressure environment then you're putting more pressures to yourself you know so with the will of fortune it's telling you pisces you know um relax um inhale exhale you're in control of the process things are progressing you're in alignment of the journey this is something that um this is something that's meant for you you know although with the seven of pentacles you need for you need for it to wait to grow organically you know it's more of like what i said if you're planting if you, if you planted something and it's a rose no matter how you put so much fertilizer in there or you look at it every day it will grow organically you know it's it's meant for you to have it it's just a matter of time and i believe the main advice for you is enjoy the journey the ten of cups enjoy enjoy the journey of doing this job or the connection or the engagement or the project because there's a certain focus coming from you where you want an outcome you want this you're you're kind of working on a timeline pisces where it's not supposed it's not the timeline it's not the divine timeline or timing okay so i really want you to will of fortune enjoy nine of cups um take a step back and six of cups um count your progress you know count the progress towards the situation you've got a six of pentacles from seven to six i'm seeing that there might be there might be a deduction in your investment in the situation in an energy although there's a ten of cups in here ten of cups is one of the happiest card you know cancer scorpio pisces something tells me that whatever the situation is you started with a seven and you've got the six of pentacles it means that there's some sort of minus or deduction in some of you in some of the outcome so so for example you're you're expecting an outcome the outcome is supposed to be seven because you invested seven the outcome would be six so it's less than what you expected it to be but the universe is telling you this is the right amount of outcome that you deserve or no this is the right outcome that this is what's meant for you to um to get it might not be the exact seven seven of pentacles but it's the happiness you know it's kind of reminding you that yep it's not the exact thing that you requested but the universe delivers you more but in terms of emotional happiness there's something good vibe about even though you did not get the six the seven you only get the six but there's some sort of completion and a sense of peace and happiness that you will get get although it's less than what you expected you know if you look into this situation be connected to family could be connected to contract it could also be connected to money could be connected to a personal relationship in here you know it could be that yep you know you went through a lot with this person or situation but at the end you still managed to get back together or it could be you've invested seven in the process of doing it there's a little bit of challenge you only get six but the amount of happiness or the amount of learning that you experience from here is something that you cannot pay or you cannot experience from any other else or you can only experience it through this so there's something in here there's something with the value that you would get it's not exactly what you want but it's exactly what you needed the most right now it creates ten, you know 10 of cups you know this is this is in alignment of your journey okay and there's a 10 of swords so the end of a complicated cycle of problem happiness not it's it's a feeling pisces where it's not it's not the richest you know that six of pentacles you're not the richest but you don't have a lot of problem some people could have a lot of money but they have so much problem okay whatever you're gonna get it's so balanced it's so peaceful it is something that will really make you happy it's not the grandest thing but it's the best thing okay it's the best thing for you so this is what i have for you pisces 
um thank you so much for being here thank you so much for supporting the channel i will see you soon again guys you have a great day bye bye